Hey everyone, Peter here. Today we'll be installing Paparazzi UAV software on macOS. And this is the system that I am using, so uh, I think this is what we should start with. Let's start uh, by calling paparazziuav.org website. Uh, this is the wiki. And uh, just search for installation slash macOS X. Here we will go to the section uh, with uh, the installation from Mavericks. This is what we are using today. And then open the macOS Forge and uh, the download uh, for the installation package of Paparazzi. And just uh, let's download both. Uh, and this is the Macports installation. This will take a little bit longer. Let's make it faster for us. So now we have both downloaded. Uh, the first thing we will start with is uh, XQuartz. This is uh, an X11 package, uh, an application providing the X11 server. This is needed for paparazzi applications uh, that uh, use that system to display themselves. So we just open up the DMG and uh, install the package. Just press continue, 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 and agree to the license, install. Type in your administrative password. And we are done. We need to log out and log in again so that uh, the environment variables uh, pro uh, making Xquartz be automatically started if you have an Excel 11 application. Uh, we so let's do that. Close the installer because it's done. Close. Close the mounted device and uh, log out. Confirm. Now let's type in the password again. So take a bit. Okay, next uh, we start the terminal application. Just go to Spotlight and type in Terminal. Mm, yeah, let's make this a little bit bigger. So it is easier to see what we are typing. So we will have to install the prerequisite uh, xcode-select minus minus install. This installs the command line um, f uh, functions like gcc and make uh, that are necessary. In uh, earlier versions of macOS you needed to install um, xcode application from Apple to provide this functionality but it's not necessary anymore in Mavericks. And now we can uh, install the Macports packages necessary to run Paparazzi. Let's, let's just mount the DMG for that and try to run the package. We come up with an error and the error is because uh, we didn't uh, install uh, third-party applications that are not signed yet. So uh, we have to go to the system preferences into the security and privacy section and then authenticate as administrator and choose allow apps uh, downloaded from anywhere and confirm. Now the package uh, should be able to open with the installation. There we go. Just press continue, continue, accept the GPL and run the installer. Authenticate as usual.
because the installation is uh, very boring normally and uh, if you want to watch it you can uh, switch on the installer log show all logs and uh, you will see how the packages of uh, Mac ports are being installed. At the end uh, paparazzi will be cloned using git into the home directory to make things more convenient. This might take a while and uh, we're done. One more thing that uh, the installer package doesn't do is uh, set up your environment. For that we will go into the wiki again and uh, copy and paste the, a script uh, that we can download from GitHub. Just copy and paste this line here. I hope that this won't be necessary in uh, newer versions of the installer, but uh, for now we have to do it. Let's copy it into the terminal and edit and paste this downloads it and now we have to move it into a executable bin directory just move it from the desktop where we got it into opt paparazzi bin authenticate again and uh, then we should move also make it executable by running sudo change mod ch mod uh, 755 of paparazzi bin paparazzi env set now we also execute it as root opt paparazzi pp bin pprz env set and the environment set we have to log out from the terminal so that the environment changes uh, just get loaded just close that spotlight start the application again and let's zoom in and paparazzi should work now so let's change into the paparazzi directory and uh, compile all the prerequisites namely all the applications for the ground station like uh, the paparazzi center and the ground station and so on and so forth and the libraries and run paparazzi on the first run of paparazzi it will take quite a while because it's indexing the fonts but uh, it should be not too long and we are done everything installed Let's uh, run the MacroJet simulator by selecting MacroJet, building the simulator. Then let's execute. And let's adjust that a little bit because that's a bit too big. Move. There you see the MacroJet uh, simulator in the background. Let's adjust that. Move. not the point cancel load the maps there we go and start the launch flight plan and the simulator and there we go so there is the microjet flying it's a pretty quick process using the binary installer I wouldn't recommend that for developers or people using more up-to-date versions of Paparazzi because the binary installer takes some time to get updated if there are any changes and updates. So I would uh, rather install it from sources. Uh, but uh, this is the easiest way of uh, getting started with Paparazzi. I hope you enjoyed this uh, screencast and uh, I hope you join me next time. Have a good one.